Welcome to Milele Motors. I would like to give you an insight on the differences of the options or the variants of LC300. So to my right here are the best options or rather the entry point. In the middle is the mid option. Then we are coming to the top, top, top spec. So I will start off with the GX. This is the GX V6 3.3 diesel. As you can see, this vehicle is entry level. Very basic in its nature. The grille is black in color. No parking sensors. You can see the lighting here. This is the ordinary halogen lighting. And you can see the Travigator. This car comes with a snorkel, which means this car is an off-roader and it will go deep into the waters right up to maybe this level. This car comes with the street rims covered in a 17 inch tire. This car has no side step. This is ordinary painted side view mirror with a Travigator. I'll take you around to the back of the vehicle. We do not have any parking sensors, but of course, we have a camera inserted here at the back and it does maintain the traditional type of a Travigator here. I'll take you inside the vehicle. You will see, yes, this vehicle has got electric windows, fabric seats and all manual seats. Moving it backwards and forward, this is very manual. Multimedia steering controls are available. Here at the back, a rear cooler, no dual AC. And this vehicle again, as you can see, on the center console, it has got no cooler box. And this vehicle again, no sunroof. I'll take you here at the back. There is no pop-out rear tailgate. This is all manual. No automated or motorized back trunk. This vehicle is coming five-seater. And you can see here at the back of the trunk, there are no extra seats. We are inside the GX. This car has got push start and you can see it's got the old school type of infotainment system. A bit more added functions through the buttons here. It's got the separated 4x4 front and back, an electric handbrake, a couple of cup holders, but of course here missing wireless charger. And of course this vehicle has got a dial for you to be able to see the driving modes. This vehicle has got a little screen here in the center where one can view the different modes. It only has got three driving modes, eco, normal, and sport. The same dial that you find in the rest of the series. But of course, no MTS on this vehicle. The next vehicle from the best option, which is the GX, we go to the next level where we are looking at the GXR. The GXR has got typically the same characteristics as the GX, but with a few additions. As you can see, this vehicle comes with a similar black grille, the same type of halogen headlights and travigators, but they have added parking sensors and they have eliminated the in addition to this, they have moved away from the 17-inch steel rim to an 18-inch alloy rim. On the GXR again, they have added the roof rack. They have also added side step. I'll take you around to the back of this vehicle. Here at the back, you can see again, the configuration of the vehicle looks very similar. And of course, the badges are different. That is a GX and this is a GX. Parking sensors here, a rear camera here at the back. I'll take you inside the vehicle. The GXR comes with the fabric interior and in addition, the power seat for the driver. You can raise yourself with a motorized seat. You can inflate and deflate the seat. This car does not have the dual air zone. It has a rear cooler. And this car has got air vents installed here on the roof. There is no pop-out tailgate. This is all very manual. As you can see, there are blanks here. It's not motorized. And this GXR is a seven-seater. But these seats here at the back are not electrical. They are manual. You lift this and you lay it into the floor to create more cargo space when you have some goods to carry. It has become a seven-seater and the cargo space has been grossly reduced. You can hardly fit any extra goods here at the back when the seats are lifted. We are inside the GXR. We have the push start button and of course you will see the illumination. It still maintains the old school infotainment system and of course one peculiar thing is no motorized steering adjustment. This is still very manual. We have multimedia steering controls here. As you can see here, the driving modes for the GX are the same for the GXR. We have Eco, Normal and 
sport. We only have the differential here, high and low gear, electric handbrake, cup holders, and of course this car as an addition, it comes up with the Sandro. No wireless charger for your phones. I will open this. The GXR has got a cooler box on the center console. Then of course, we have only the climate control that is operational for the front. No rear climate control. We are moving on to the next stage. Now we are looking at the VX. The VX is the middle option and you can see there is already some additions that are coming into the vehicles. You can see already the GX has got LED fog lamp. It comes with parking sensors. It comes graduated from halogen lights to LED headlights and a sequential daylight running light which co-currently runs as the Travigator. There is an addition again, as you can see, this grill is now chrome with a glass emblem. And again, this has got 360 camera. There is the camera for the front. The VX now has got similar 18 inch alloy rims to the GXR. It comes with a painted side view mirror with sequential Travigator here. And here at the bottom, a sensor and a camera. This vehicle also has got a side step. We are here at the back and you can see the VX has got LED Travigator. I will open the trunk again. The trunk is manual. This is not motorized. I will take you inside. You will see again that these seats are manual. They are manually folded into the floor of the vehicle and it will create almost a half a ton trunk at the back where you can load your bags. I will take you inside the vehicle. Definitely there is a change, a graduation. This is mid-spec. You can see this car is, comes with the premium leather seats, power seats. On the rear side, we have dual zone air system. Here, I will show you we have an armrest with cup holders. This is the interior, is greatly improved from the GXR. And as you can see, this is a motorized steering. This car comes with multimedia steering control. And here, we have cruise control as well and again we have the dial mode for changing driving modes we still have eco normal and sport but one important addition that we have now the car has got the mts which is the multi-terrain system meaning to say this car has got the 50 camera as shown on the dash it has got self-adjusting suspension which is mostly guided by the multi-terrain system in combination with the underside camera which you can activate in addition also from the gxr this car has got a wireless charger and you can see the infotainment system is a touch screen this looks more modern and you have climate control here and of course you have ventilated seats where you can do cooling or heating of the seats we can also do a lot of programming here we have inserted maps we have the audio system we have phone setup and we have a couple of apps we still have our cup holders we still have our stylish cooler box this car again has got the sunroof the electric handbrake separated front and the rear differentials and your high and low gears for your 4x4 the next option which we are looking at are the high spec vehicles and now i'm going to talk about the vxr from the front end already you can see the big difference that is now manifesting this car has got the full chrome grill it comes with four cameras and you can see the chrome finishes that are now have been fitted or added onto this vehicle we have led fog lamps with chrome finishes here and of course there are parking sensors in either side of the vehicle now we are graduating to another level the vxr has got a 20 inch alloy rim again here there is an addition you can see the chrome finish or the chrome cap over the side view mirror with a sequential led a travigator here we have a sensor and a camera this car has got a 360 camera definitely it is evident that the vxr is the top spec as you can see there comes a difference from the front to the side view you can see the vxr comes with an aerosport 
body kit you can see the configuration of the side step and you can see chrome handles here it still adopts the roof rack i'll take you around here to the back the badge is clearly vxr very extra luxury and you will see the chrome finish and the parking sensors here the vxr comes in with led navigator the trunk of the vxr is automated meaning it is motorized effortlessly it will go up here are the buttons for operation you can close and open and you will also notice that instead of manually pulling the seats this is now motorized so the vxr has got power seats in the front and at the back i will show you the interior of this vehicle this is the vxr as you can see this has got an addition from the vx it's got memory seats here you can see this is motorized eight-way power seats this is premium leather seat with perforations for ventilation i'll take you to the back you can see the vxr has got a dual air zone climate control here some power points here and of course it's got a factory fitted rear entertainment system we are now inside the VXR. I will start the vehicle. You can see the seats have just adjusted automatically. And here you can see a 12 inch modern infotainment system. This vehicle got the motorized tilt and telescopic steering. Of course, the multimedia steering here with the cruise control. It has a dial for your driving modes and you can see now you have eco, you have comfort, you have normal, you have sport, sport plus and comfort. Although both of them have got a 10 speed gearbox, the difference comes on the driving modes. This car again has got the MTS which is operated in combination with the fifth underside camera as you can see here the touch screen will help enable us to change the settings here we have the menu showing us we are able to connect our phone we can control the audio and we can have we can download toyota online again this car has got a wireless charger two separate front and rear differential locks it's got additional the chrome mold this vehicle meaning to say it will go through the mountain the sandy deserts and the ice patches as you travel the electric brake remains prominent here and of course our cup holders are still here we still have again cooler box in the center console it has the sunroof as well the fifth option which is also a high spec vehicle which we are stocking at milele the sahara zx has got exactly the same features as the vxr plus more the camera is here the grill more or less the same sequential navigator lights which double as daylight running lights the zx as i have pointed out is much similar to the vxr i will explain you the differences as you can see the 20 inch alloy rim the chrome finishes in the front the parking sensors are there side chrome mirrors similar with the led navigator same body kit chrome handles here again a roof rack will come here at the back sahara zx here again has got led navigator i'm excited to pop out my tailgate as it is this is also motorized but what is peculiar the major difference the vxr is a seven seater sahara zx is coming five seater so you have more or less your half a ton of luggage at the back of course your parking sensor and your provision for towing some caravan or a luggage trailer i'll take you inside the zx like i said the features are very similar but i will tell you the differences as we close again the memory seats are there electric windows are there the power seats and this is premium leather at the back you can see the factory fitted in that rear entertainment system and you can see in the center just behind the console you have your dual climate control system the sahara zx is very similar to the vxr i've pointed out this is a five seater but you can see the dashboard cluster is very similar this you can see it's got an electric or motorized telescopic steering for tilt alignment you will see here there's multimedia steering controls here and again here this car has got adaptive cruise control again we use the dial system for selection of our driving modes just check on the dashboard here this is exactly the same as the vxr we start off with eco we go into comfort normal sport sport plus 
custom. The dial system is similar in all the series of the Land Cruiser. The MTS comes into play where we can activate the, the fifth underside camera. This car has got self-adjusting suspension. Unlike the VXR, this has got self-adaptive suspension. We have again similar the separate diff lock front and rear. We have the electric brake here, your high and low gear. This is actually you switch the button back and front. Then again, there is a wireless charger here. We have the cabio and again, the very fascinating cooler box which can open from three sides the driver side the passenger side and from the rear side the setup here is basically the same you can insert your map and this has got radar which means it's got lane departure alert unlike the vxr so as you are going off road you will have brake assist the car will naturally assist you to brake and to slow down this car has got blind spot shown here on the mirror on the side view mirror those are the major additions of course the differences in the features also mean the differences in the pricing very reliable very durable easy to drive very adaptive to different terrains can be normal sandy can be off-road into the forest can be city driving mountain driving even in the ice patches around the world this is what makes this family very, very famous. In fact, this is what makes the LC300 king of the SUVs. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Join us in our next segment or our next edition where we will look at another set of vehicles within the same family.